Hello again. I have no doubt at all that most viewers, both in this country and the United States, will know that their countries are unrecognisable when viewed through the lens of advertisements. This is the case for both those advertisements on television, the internet and also at the cinema and in newspapers and magazines. Specifically, advertisements these days show a world which puts one in mind of illustrations from literature distributed by the Jehovah's Witnesses. You know the kind of thing where lions and lambs are living happily together and all the various human races are mingling freely and amicably. Families in advertisements today are almost invariably mixed and interracial. Of course, this is not random mixing. The scenarios shown are quite limited, generally to a black man with a white woman and a bunch of mixed race kids. So used are we to this setup that most of us seldom stop to ask ourselves why that should be the structure of the family in advertisements. Why not a black woman and a white man, for instance? Or a black man and an Indian woman? An Asian guy with a white woman? A Chinese woman with a black guy? Put like that, of course, we see at once how weird such couplings would appear if we saw them on our television screens. It got to be a black guy with a white woman. There are a number of reasons for this. The first is, of course, that black people in focus groups who are invited to give their views and opinions on ideas for advertisements are dead set against the idea of seeing a white man with a black woman. This is said to reinforce some awful stereotypes which hark back to the days of slavery when black women were raped by white masters. It is very much a turn-off for black people to see such a thing it's especially unpopular with black men. In the description to this video, I give a link to an American um, article on this subject. Black men are conversely dead keen to see images of black men with white women. This emphasises their power and virility and also shows them getting one over white people and taking their women, of course. In real life, especially among those of Caribbean heritage in Britain, the acquisition of a white female sexual partner is definitely a matter of prestige. But why is it always black people and white rather than any other ethnic group shown in the advertisements? After all, there are far more people of Indian and Pakistani heritage in this country than there are black people. Why don't we see Sikh or Hindu couples or mixed Indian and white families? The reason is that those making advertisements in Britain always hope that they will be able to use them also in the American market, either on the internet or in cinemas there. And in America, one person in six is black. They are a greater minority there than other ethnicities, and so it makes sense to cater for this particular group. It is, I suppose, also possible that this relentless and continuous portrayal of miscegenation is part of some subliminal campaign to accustom us to the idea of race mixing. I have seen this argument advanced on um, a number of uh, websites on the internet, but I regard it personally as a little far-fetched. This subject by the by, touches also upon something about which I spoke the other day, which was the enormous rise in sexually transmitted diseases in Britain over the last year, a 50% increase in cases of gonorrhea, for instance. I mentioned that black men in this country are far more likely to contract a sexually transmitted infection than white men, and that the average black man has twice as many sexual partners in his lifetime as a white man, and tends to start being sexually active at a younger age. I was heavily criticised for saying this, although it is, of course, perfectly true, as the statistics show clearly. One reason that black men are far more likely to contract these diseases is a marked reluctance to use condoms. 
In the description to this video, I give a link to the Black Men's Sexual Health website in the UK, which is run by and for black men. I doubt that this uh, site can be accused of racism. They go into this in some detail and mention the uh, low use of condoms among black men. The fact that condoms are not popular results, as one might expect, in more illegitimate babies, and this too is seen by some as a sign of virility and sexual prowess. Having baby mothers scattered around the country is quite a badge of honour for some men. I need hardly say that having a white baby mother is a particular thing, and it is this habit among some men which causes the black man, white woman, mixed race children set up in advertisements to be especially appealing to um, a certain number of black men.